someone just flew in when they saw me near a bale. And the buddy's down the back there, I think that's her, the mate. And I think I gave them this one last time and they haven't had this one yet. Oh, this brings back memories. Except it was probably Mrs. Magpie on the bale, or either of them. Okay, you get off there, and I'll turn it over. That's going to hit the camera. Yeah, terrified of me. Okay, see what we can find. Oh, that's Curl Grub City. Well, you can have a quick look, and I can get you a second one if that's insufficient. She wants to come too, so I'm going to back off. Anything edible, guys? I'll tell you what, I'll get you a new one. I'll get you a new bag, okay? Hang on. We'll just get the soggy mess back over there. And we'll, okay, yep, yeah, settle down, buddy. Uh, this one here. We'll get this out of the way. Oop, there was a roach there that you missed. This one. I don't think we've looked under this one. I think we have looked under that one. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, this one. Okay, that's it. Last one. Try and put the camera somewhere good. Check out, lady. Go on around the back. The plants and stuff.
camera switched itself off. This is really good. Should be a metre and a half away, five feet or less, which is pretty cool. I, I think he'd eat out of my hand if I had something appetising, but this is really good for her. camera just dropped out. There's plenty of battery. Yeah. This is very frustrating when the camera drops out and there's plenty of battery left. Oh, I don't eat that. I'm trying to save it. Possibly for the cooker bowls. I think you've had a peck at it already, because it's a bit soggy. Uh, she's nearly lost interest. Yep, okay. I'm going to go plant some cuttings. Sorry. Collect curl grubs. Dump those over with the other bales. Over yonder. And... Get on with things. I might set the camera up when I turn these bales over and grab the curl grubs because she could come back. little lady, I'm going to do this one now with all the big curl grubs under it. Not bad. Pretty good. Ah, oh, egg. I'm going to have to take care of some eggs if I find another one. There used to be two in here, I don't know. I didn't see the birds mess with them. <laughs> Sneaky little sods. I how big they are.
Oh, heck. I was just about to tell you what I was going to do with the eggs. I just found two more. The egg, sorry, the singular egg that I've found so far. So, since they were living in this stuff, and then... Okay, those two are glued together. There we go. Those two are glued together. Pop them in. Another larger egg. It's going to go into the one on the right is a lot bigger than the ones on the left. A bit worried about the smaller one there. But hey, so give them a chance. More than baking in the sun would because I have to move these bales. And I'm sorry, but three lizard eggs, and that's not enough reason not to finally get this area sorted. All right. Heaps of curl grubs have buried themselves in there. I'm glad I've got a few of these with holes in the top. I keep them down the shed when they're not in use. Actually, imagine how many beetles are going to be breeding in a giant mulch pit all the way around my most of my garden, half of it. It's going to be Beetle City. And other than the ones that I've raised, I still haven't seen... That's definitely a dead curl grub. I still haven't seen a single... That looks like an egg. That. It's a pair... of old eggs. Yes, I'm, I'm creating a lot of beetle habitat, in, including this bed here with the manure and the mulch on top. That's a, another potential beetle habitat, but back there, that is likely to be heaven for beetle larvae. Especially the forward end of it, because the moisture that comes from the hose along here. It's a upside down spray hose in there. Keeps the front section moist and the front part of the rear section moist. Because it holds a lot of water in the rain. But I digress. Oh, and I put that in today. That is another gauzer rosemary. There's one down this end. Okay, let's go. Uh, this is a native berry, Midian berry. It was a rosemary. Rosella, Rosella, Rosella. Another Midian berry. Some Roma tomatoes I put in just to see how they'd go with no care and attention. Not bad. Got some fruit off them for no care and attention. They look like hell, but they've had a tough life. I have just this afternoon put in some Treasure Island sweet potatoes, a decorative purple sweet potato. This is a pair of cranberry hibiscus bushes that are pretty close together. New sweet potato, half a dozen new sweet potatoes, really close together to see how they go. And a gauze of rosemary that's been in here for a bit longer. So that's the front section at the moment. And I'm seriously thinking about putting in some dwarf Cavendish bananas and turning it into a basically a Cavendish banana bed at about a six foot spacing. But these are temporary crops. I'd probably start bananas here and then go every six feet and I don't quite know, 12 feet here, down to the end. The median berries are perennial and permanent, but I can move them. The rosemary, that one's been placed so that it's past the end of the hose. 
so it should get less water. They don't like too much water. But the medium berry there and there can be moved. These guys are seasonal, they'll die off. These guys might be getting close to finished, tomatoes, but that's okay. I can pretty much rip them out any time, just because I can. These guys, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them next season. But for now, I'm keeping them alive. And I'll probably collect seed off them. The cranberry hibiscus, the young leaves taste like cranberries. You probably could have guessed that. But you can use it in salads. It's, it's a nice colour. High in oxalic acid. So if you've got arthritis or arthritic tendencies, maybe not for you. But a very attractive member of the hibiscus family. It does have hibiscus-like flowers. I hope to show them to you sometime. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm, I'm very happy with the extra planting space. I wish I had more extra planting space. I'll get these various reptiles and larvae sorted out. Okay, unexpected sojourn into the front bed. Talk to you later. Have a good one.